All of these fancy shots where you're trying to stop it on a dime or, or make it dance when it gets up on the green, leave that to the pros. Hey everybody, welcome back to Golf Test. Tell me the channel where I use my game to help your game. Today I want to do uh, a fairly quick video on some short game stuff. I've got some theories, some ideas of my own. Some of them are based off of things that I've seen or that I've read about, but some of them I've just kind of developed and I've, I've just got some things that I wanted to share with you that they've really helped me with my short game and hopefully maybe, maybe they'll flip a switch in you. Let me just say this first. I am not the king of the short game, but with as much switching and flopping and back and forth and just experimentation as I do with my full swings from tee up to the area of the green, I have to rely on my short game quite a bit to get me to at least some decent scores and to try and maintain a handicap. Um, so while I'm not the greatest at it and I don't have every shot in the book, I'm definitely no Phil Mickelson or Seve Ballesteros. Um, I do have couple of little things that helped me out tremendously so let me shoot this I've got a situation here with a, a, a decent sized pitch shot let me get a distance for you this reads 50 yards on the nose you've got some green to work with you've got a decent sized landing area there's nothing really incredibly difficult about this shot but a lot of people would be intimidated by this bunker over here thinking they're going to hit it right or they're going to blade it over the green. So let me show you kind of what I go through the process that takes a lot of the pressure off for these shots for me. Now I'm going to use a 57 degree wedge here. I've got a 54. I could use it. I've got enough green to work with. I could bring it in a little lower. But this is a false front on this green, so I want to kind of fly it to the hole and just make sure the number one objective for me is to make sure I get it on the green, get it somewhere on the putting surface. I don't care if it's a three foot putt or a 30 foot putt, I want to putt. So I'm not concerned with trying to stick it close or getting cute. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check my lie. This is a fairly tight lie. I can feel some hard packed dirt underneath it. So I know that I'm going to have to pinch this shot a little bit. I'm not going to be able to, to just kind of cozy it up there. I'm going to have to give it a little bit of bite. I can just feel that from experience. And I know that this is going to have a little rollout. So I'm just thinking a standard pitch. Not too high, not too low, just a standard pitch. Now the real trick for me is that when I get up there, I will make a practice swing with my hand as if I have a baseball or a softball or even a golf ball in my hand, and I'll do this. trying to compare a throwing motion to translate that over to a club motion. And then when I get set up over the ball, I make sure my weight stays on my front foot and I stay there and I try not to move and I just swing my right hand back and through as if I were going to throw the golf ball up there with my hand. Kind of dead hands, no big wrist action, no flippy stuff, nothing going on, kind of like this. Let me get up here and I'll explain some more to you. All right, we're gonna walk up here and we're gonna take a look at where I ended up. Now, there's a couple of things to keep in mind here. Number one, I'm just a 10 handicapper. I, that's not official, but just based on my scores and, and the averages, I'm, I'm basically a 10 handicap, which is not great. But if you look at average golf, if you look at the biggest population, the biggest percentage of the golfing population out there, you'll see that the average handicap is around like an 18. So if you're better than an 18, you're better than average. So I don't consider myself to be a great golfer, but I consider myself to be a pretty decent golfer. I could probably be better than I am if I would stop switching methods all the time and trying different ways to attack the full swing. But like I said, my short game keeps me uh, to where I can post decent rounds and decent scores. Uh, I'm not always posting in the 70s. I do have some rounds in the 70s. I rarely, rarely 
get into the mid 70s, but I do get into the upper 70s sometimes. Uh, most of the time I'm shooting around an 82, an 81, an 83, somewhere in that neighborhood. And I do have some scores that get up to the 90s. Uh, that happens. And it happens to all of us. We have good days and bad days. But with the short game, again, I'm not the king of it, but it does save me quite often. And I, I told you a little bit about how I prepare for the shot and everything. Uh, but the mechanics of that pitch shot are basically the mechanics of my throwing motion. I think that's the simplest way to relate it to people. I think that's the simplest way for us to approach the short game. Rather than having every shot in the bag, have like one or two shots that you're really comfortable with and that you can go to and that you have full confidence in. And if you can't get it up here and check it and stop it on a dime near the hole and make it look like they do on, the, on, on TV with the PGA Tour and the LPGA Tour, those people, uh, just let it roll out. It's fine. It's not a big deal. So. What I ended up doing, I'm going to walk you around here and kind of show you. I pitched that ball. I had 50 yards, if you remember. I pitched that ball somewhere up in here about, I would say, 10 to 15 feet short of the flag. And I'll turn you around. I'll stand in the spot where I kind of landed it. And I'll show you. The ball ended up over here. The flag is right here. And I'm standing in the spot where I landed it. So it rolled out a good 20 to 25 feet, something like that. And I've got about a 15 or 16 footer on the comeback for the putt. But I'm putting. I'm putting. That's all that really matters. All of these fancy shots where you're trying to stop it on a dime or, or make it dance when it gets up on the green, leave that to the pros. Uh, I've got a putt at par here, and that's really all you can ask for. I'm going to make the putt, and I'll tell you a few more things. All right, so we're looking back. I, I missed the putt, of course, but I, I thought in my head that I had a good chance to make it. I gave it a good roll, just left it a touch short. But I'm looking back. I was over near this tree, and there were actually some roots. The number one thing to check on any kind of shot, especially short game shots, is the lie. The lie is going to dictate what kind of shots you can actually pull off. They're going to dictate how the club is going to get onto the ball. And a lot of times, the worst lies are the reason that they're bad lies is because they are going to severely limit your options. You don't have as many options when it comes time to choose a club and choose a shot and choose a way that you want it to come up here to the hole. So I knew that that was tight. I knew that I wasn't going to be able to stop it really quickly just because I don't have that shot in my bag. And I'm not going to take the risk of trying to pull off some hero shot. I just want to get it up here on the putting surface and give myself a putt at par. And I did. And I could have made that par putt, but I didn't, so I took a boat. Also, after I struck that, there were some unforeseen items in the ground. I actually hit a root after I struck the ball, and it kind of stopped my club from following through like it normally would. Um, so, you know, there's going to be things like that. The best thing to do on your short game is minimize the damage. Don't be a hero. Get it on the green. Practice some shots to where you've got a go-to shot or a two go-to shots. And then forget the mechanics of it. And just think about tossing the ball up onto the green. Now that was a little bit better lie. I had more options and I just decided to play pretty much a, a standard pitch shot. Just a little bit of an open club face. I get my weight onto my front and then I just kind of stay there. And then I'm just feeling how hard I need to, to throw it with my right hand. And that's, that's really all it is. I mean, that's really close. That's, 
it's probably inside of two feet. And I'm every bit of 50 yards away, kind of replicated that shot back there, but with a better lie. If you can do that, if you can relate the simple pitch or even the chip to that throwing motion and just letting it, letting it come out of your hand toward the target, that takes mechanics and all of those mechanical thoughts that would bind you up and make you hit a bad shot out of the bag. The other thing that I do that is just really crucial and it really changed my short game was I started focusing on my landing spot and the trajectory at which I wanted it to hit that spot. And then I focus on my spot and I just try to throw to that. Forget the flag, forget the hole. After you look at the flag in the hole and you see where you are and you've kind of chosen a shot, don't look back at the flag. Look at your spot. You found a spot, I'm gonna land it right there on that dark area. I'm gonna land it right on that little that little blade of grass right there. I'm gonna land it on a, a six inch circle that's in, in line with that spot and then it's gonna break off to the left a little bit and it's gonna to go toward the hole, it's gonna roll about 10 feet. So I wanna land it on that spot with this trajectory and picture it in your brain. And then think about throwing the ball on that trajectory and letting it land on that spot. And keep that spot in your mind the entire time. Don't think about what's on the ground in front of you. Don't think about anything else. Once you make sure you get your weight on your front foot, just think about that spot. Keep it in your brain and then throw to that spot. And more often than not, that has worked for me. Actually, Monty Shinebloom has a really good video on uh, the pitch is just a toss. I can't remember the title of it exactly, but it's basically like that. The pitch, the pitch shot is nothing more than just a toss. Hale Irwin's talked about this as well and some tips that I've seen from him where people say, you know, how hard should I hit this chip? How hard should I hit this pitch? And he says, basically, you know, about as hard as you throw it. And it's really relatable. It's really relatable. It doesn't work so much once you start to get really far back from the green and you're talking about a 100-yard shot. But when you're 50 yards and in, 30 yards, 20 yards, stuff like that, it can really, it's really relatable to how hard you would toss it. Try that out. See if that works for you. Give me some comments down below. Give me your feedback. Experiment with it. Be your own golf test dummy. Go out there and try it. And then let me know. Come back to the video and watch it again. And then leave the comment and say, hey, Chad, this happened to me or that happened to me or this really worked. This was garbage. Tell me. Let me know. Leave me some comments. Anyway, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. This has been just a really quick short game video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell and click all so you get all the notifications of all the videos. Stay up on it because I upload every Tuesday at 3, once a week. See you next time.